The homeless population could grow when the eviction moratorium ends in March. With all the economic uncertainty, mental health really is intense right now. Ravenna Candy is a licensed mental health counselor and she's the director of supported housing programs at Navos. Ravenna, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me here this morning, Michelle. Absolutely. Well, we know that homelessness impacts all of us in some way, especially when it comes to public health. Can you explain that? Yes, the homelessness is a public health issue that affects our entire community. A large portion of our homeless population have untreated and undiagnosed mental health conditions, as well as untreated substance abuse disorders. It's much more costly for taxpayers to pay for incarceration, homelessness, emergency services than it is to pay for recovery services. Sure. And then um, also, how are you helping people who are homeless right now or who might be having a mental health crisis or mentally ill? Yes. Navos is part of a behavioral health network that spans from King County to Pierce County, which includes multi-care and Greater Lakes. And we provide assertive community treatment, which is evidence-based. It's a mobile team that goes into individuals' homes to provide treatment twice a day, seven days a week. So it's intensive community support. What we do is we bring nursing, we bring medication delivery, medication support, and behavioral health therapy into individuals' homes. The average length of stay in our program is three years and individuals graduate. We also provide housing for individuals that do not have housing and are homeless. Wow, well, that does sound amazing. I'm just curious, how do you know that these programs are actually working for people in the long term? That's a great question, Michelle. We've actually been doing assertive community, assertive community treatment for 12 years, and we partner closely with the University of Washington School of Medicine to track statistics. On average, we have 15% of our participants graduate annually, and they get to go into volunteering. We have job training. We have a vocational specialist that works closely with them. They get paid work in our community. They reconnect with family and friends. They're able to maintain their housing and to live independently. And they're thriving. It's really exciting to see. That's incredible. So I'm just curious, why aren't there more of these programs out there? Michelle, there certainly is demand for more of these programs. Recently, our network, MultiCare Navos and Greater Lakes, expanded to provide hundreds of more individuals in our community these services to individuals that would otherwise be hospitalized, incarcerated, or homeless. So it's really transformative, and it's really exciting to be part of this process. Ravenna, I'm going to put you on the spot. Um, is there anything that you think that we can do as community members to help in this? Uh, thank you, Michelle, for asking me that question. <laughs> we really, you know, funding is an issue. Uh, it, mental health is often the last um, thing that's funded or looked at, but mental health is just as important as going to the dentist. And these programs are so viable. They've been working for 12 to 15 years at our network. We know they work. We work closely with our counties. We work closely with the University of Washington School of Medicine. But if the community could support us so that we can expand and help more people get off the streets and into rehabilitation, it would affect our public health. It would increase our social determinants of health, lower our social determinants of disease and make our community thrive again. We've actually been in full operations during the pandemic and especially during the pandemic with all the grief and loss and fear and uncertainty that people have been experiencing. We have um, long lines of people waiting to get into our programs and we want to provide these services for as many people in the community as we can. Yeah, it does feel really intense right now on so many levels. Um, Ravetta Candy, Director of Supported Housing Programs at Navos, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it this morning. Thank you so much, Michelle.